Hello, and welcome to this TaxCalc training video. In this video, we'll be continuing with Practice Manager and looking at Report Manager. We'll show you how to filter your client list in Practice Manager using DataMine. We'll also see how to create a brand new report, then how to run existing reports or custom reports that you've created yourself. Let's go into Practice Manager under the launcher on the left. We can find the report manager on the bottom left hand side. But before we go into it, let's see how to search and filter the client list on this screen. The entire client list is displayed at the moment. If we type a name into the search box at the top, you'll see that it comes up on the client list. If we add additional columns, such as the UTR number, it allows us to search using that information as well. Another way to search is by using the client filter on the left. You can drop down to just show individuals, limited companies, partnerships, and trusts. The archived option will show any clients removed from the database, but still in the archive. The advanced search option allows us to search by portfolio. It shows a list of clients based on the client manager. We can also use the data mining wizard to build a list of criteria to filter the database. Let's create a condition to find clients with a particular year end. We find that field in the database, show all clients with the year end in March, and run the query. Now we have a list of clients whose year end is in March. We can go back into the query and save it for future reference. March year end query. We can set it to private so only our user can access it, or public so our colleagues can use it too. Now that's created, we can use it in other areas of the software such as mail merge or reporting to bring up that list in reports. Let's go into Report Manager now. By default, we're shown a list of various reports. These feature a padlock symbol alongside. They can't be deleted as they're very useful. We're going to create a report for all outstanding tax returns. This can be particularly useful approaching self-assessment season in December. You'll want a quick report of how many clients have outstanding tax returns. So we open Create New Report and come to this list. Creating a report on the client runs reports on client information. Task is based on the tasks we set up, including any payroll or any meetings we have. There are also statuses for accounts production and VAT. Let's create a tax work statuses report. We'll call it Outstanding SA Returns for 1920. This is a self-assessment client so we'll need to choose between self-assessment and corporation tax. We'll make it available to all users. If we wanted to, we could make this private so only we can see it. We want to show that all clients have had their returns submitted and none have been missed. We can load a data mine and if we want to use a specific filter of clients, we can do so here. We'll use all clients. Select fields to show on the report. We'll use the fields we think are most pertinent. We'll leave off the tax year. As they're all for the same tax year, it wouldn't benefit us to have that listed. We can sort however we like. Here, we'll use the file to HMRC date as the sort column. This gives us the uncompleted returns at the top and the rest in date order at the bottom. We recommend you run the reports in landscape format, otherwise you'll have too many columns to fit on the screen. If we just want to do personal tax returns and partnerships, untick Trusts. We can also add the statuses to report on here. The report is now saved and runs automatically. This shows the report sorted by file to HMRC date. We can see the returns at the top have not been submitted. The ones down here have been submitted on particular dates and are in date order. You can keep track of which ones have been submitted at what point. The date last saved indicates when the status was set, as does the last status date. That indicates this was sent to the client on the 13th of May. We might want to ask why we haven't got that return back and approved for submission. We can go in, have a look and see. We can click the client row data and that will navigate us to the SA100 for that client where we can get filing approval and submit online. Once the report is created, it's added to the list. We can move it around if we want it to appear at the top, for example. If we want to run it in future, 
Select it and click Run Report on the left hand side to get the same result. This has been a brief overview of the Report Manager. We hope it's been a useful exercise looking at the features. The whole process will become second nature after you've created a few reports with your own data. If you have any questions or want to find out more, please go to our knowledge base or contact our support team. To view other videos on the TaxCalc software, click the links above and below. Thank you.